Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode here with the Missouri Farm Series. Got a lot of work ahead of us today. As you guys know, know that Kevin in the last episode did lose his job. We're going to get some corn harvest done today. We're going to head into town right now. We're going to go get myself some coffee. So that being said, guys, hey, let's get after it. Now, don't mind me. I guess I'm just going to park here like I own the place. You guys just look confused. I get the audacity of this guy to park on the sidewalk. It's okay, folks. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to go and get myself some coffee, and I'll be right back out. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, uh, I've not, I, I don't think I've seen you around here in town before. Are you, uh, you new to this part or what? Have you opened your eyes before today? Uh, well, I have, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm new in town, Buster. How you doing? I'm not doing too bad. Uh, just, just had a lot of incidents going on recently out at the farm and it's been pretty, pretty hectic. I'm not going to lie, but, um, I got, I got a lot of work I got to do today. I'm not going to lie there either. Uh, I just got to get my morning coffee. Helps me get, uh, helps me get the morning going, you know? All right. I, I hear you, brother. I hear you. What are you looking at doing today? Well, so right now we got a uh, corn harvest going on. I just helped uh, Josh, local local old farmer around here. He uh, had some high moisture corn that we helped him get out about two weeks ago. Well, that's where our little incident with our grain trailer happened. And Kevin, uh, well, he doesn't work for us no more, but he uh, ended up overflowing or overfilling one of our uh, one of our grain trailers over, and it ended up snapping the axles off of it. Just clean. You're clean kidding! Off. I just heard that story. Someone just was talking about that. Was it Na Nancy in the coffee shop? I don't know. I'm new in town. Okay, uh, that makes sense. So, uh, so what are you planning on doing here? You seen like family or something? I'm a farmhand, actually. Speaking really? Of, <laughs> interestingly enough. Really? You, do you have somebody that yeah. you're working for? Uh, not at the moment, no. No, I just I just got in a few days ago. I've just been kind of looking around and observing a lot. You know what I'm saying? Driving around and seeing what's out there. Um, yeah. I tell you what, man. If you uh, if you want to come by the farm tomorrow morning at about seven thirty. I should be there, maybe doing some maintenance on the combine before we get going out in the field. If you want to, you want to earn a little bit of money, I mean, I'd be more than happy to have you come out to the farm and help me out. All right, that sounds fine. Yeah, seven thirty tomorrow morning. I will. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to leave your address with me or something. Uh, so I live at fourteen thirty six County Road. It's uh, so if you go down this street off here to the to the west, and then you go, yeah. up, you come up by Prairie State Tractor. You'll take, you'll hang a left there, and you'll just keep heading straight down that county road, about two miles or about three miles, and my farm is going to be on the east side of the road. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'll All look right. for it. All right, man. I'm gonna go grab my coffee, and I will. I'll see you tomorrow, man. He's a real nice guy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, really excited to probably have him out at the farm. Hopefully, he's a lot better than what Kevin was, because with Kevin's track record, he was like. 0 oh, and 3 at the farm. He messed up so much, so many times. He overfilled fertilizer tanks. He almost spilled a whole pallet of seeds and broke, an ax broke axles on my trailer. And then he managed to break my anhydrous toolbar. So hopefully Sean is a lot better. And I can't wait to have him at the farm. But I'm going to go get some uh, cleanup down at the farm right now. And I'm going to cut in and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I really wish the wife wouldn't leave all these nice donuts, muffins, and all this cheese down here. Because, I mean, I think she's just trying to make me get fat. Personally, I'm just going to stick with my Wheaties. My, my bowl of Wheaties and my, my cup of whole milk, that's all I need. But it's about that time I should be heading to the farm. It's almost about 7.35, 7.40. We're going to get heading down that way, and we'll catch you guys when we get there. All right, we're just rolling up, and it looks like Sean's already sitting here waiting for me. I wonder how long he's been sitting here. I told him to be here about 30 minutes ago. I wonder how long he's been here. Good morning, man. What's up? Morning, sir. How are you? Oh, man. You don't got to call me, sir. I work for a living. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, don't we all work for a living, though? <laughs> yeah. So what's up? What are we going to do? So I need some maintenance done right now on some equipment. Uh, we need to get everything all pre-checked out. Uh, the tractor and the grain cart is going to be in that shed right across the road. Uh, we need that taken out. We need to have uh, the front, uh, the front end all greased up, and then I'm gonna be going through the combine because we, when we went through all that high moisture corn, uh, it did kind of wear out a lot of my uh, chopping knives. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to get those all realigned back up again, make sure we're gonna get a good cut, and then once we get all this maintenance done, there's a, uh, there's a half a load of corn on the other side of the Quonset. The Diamond Rio is already hooked, hooked up to the trailer and everything. I need you to take that trailer into town. And uh, you'll be taking it to the corn dryer 
and you'll be splitting that half load. You'll be doing an 80-20 split with uh, Josh and myself. I'll get the 20, and then Josh will get the 80. Okay. All right. Well, let's and, start with what you want to do now, right right now. Hey, uh, Sean. Yo. Uh, so I'm going to be moving that combine out. I just got done uh, I got done aligning all my chopping knives up. I'm going to be moving it out, and I'm going to go put it in that closet over there where you just grabbed that cart and that tractor from. Uh, once I get that over there, you can go ahead and back the grain cart and the tractor in. I'm going to go talk with Josh over there, and I'm going to see how things are going with our anhydrous toolbar. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give Kevin a call. Oh, uh, enjoy that call. Uh, yeah, I, I, I might. All right, we're gonna go in here. Josh got some parts for me for that 820. We're gonna get those picked up real quick. We're gonna head back. I think uh, Sean should be coming back real soon with that with the Diamond Rio. So I want to kind of get back before he gets there. Hey, what's up, Josh? How we doing? Hey, Damien. How you doing? Uh, not too bad, dude. Hey, uh, so you got them parts in yet for me for that uh, 8020? I do. Let me go look for them. All right, man. Here in a moment. I'm not finding them. Actually, find them. All right. Well, what, looks like they're back there. Do you want to pull your truck around? Is there a lot? Do you want me to pull around to this back bay or what? Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. All right. Hey, what's Bring with, them out on a cart? What's with the What's with the green monkey suit? You don't normally wear that. I was told to dress like this today. I just I'm a yes man. Corporate must be coming down today, huh? Yeah. Well, in the monkey suits, probably. Yeah. Maybe they have their own respective monkey suits. They probably caught wind of all the good deals you've been giving me and my boys out at the farm. Yeah, probably. We'll just stop that right now. <laughs> hey, I don't, right. don't, don't stop the good deals. I kind of, I kind of need that stuff. <laughs> I, I still got that big loan sitting there, and I mean, nothing's been going right on the farm. And I mean, oh, no. you, you heard about what happened with Kevin, right? Some snapped axles. Yeah, the whole town's been hearing about it. I walked into, I walked up to the coffee shop this morning, and uh, my new hired man, Sean. He, he heard about it, and he just got into town, like, earlier this week. I believe that. Yep, that's the word on the wire. Nothing's safe these days in the small town. I'm I'm honestly thinking about, like, packing my losses trying to get out of here, but I just need to get a corn harvest over before I do that. Yeah, okie dokie. All right, but, well, I'll help you any way I can. Yeah, I hope things are going well here. I, I heard some uh, heard some news through the grapevine that uh, you guys' equipment lot's kind of, like, looking a little bare. You guys, you guys doing all right, or you guys are going to be going out of business, too? You know, it's interesting you say that because we have case equipment in the yard and we're at John Deere dealership. How about that? Look at all the John Deere around the office, and yet we still sell this crap. Yeah, it's true. I, I see more I see more case combines sitting out here than I do see uh, John Deere tractors. I think I've seen two John Deere combines out front and one John Deere tractor. What's what's happening, guys? Yeah, I don't know if these guys are probably going out of business or something because, I mean, they only got two two combines up there. They got, they've had these cases sitting here for a while, but... I don't know if they try repairing them or what the deal is, but I'm gonna get this all all this front end equipment loaded up here for the 8020. Get backed up here all nice without hitting their guide pole. Hopefully, how am I looking back there? Keep it coming, pull it as far as you want. I don't want to hit your I don't want to hit your desk. Man, I can just park here and make it my own garage, huh? Fair enough, Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, let's get let's get these parts. I'm I'm getting sick of sick of this jokes that you keep coming up with. All right, I'm going to leave some exhaust fumes in here, but uh, yeah, we'll see you later, man. All right, thank you, sir. Have a good one, Damien. Yeah, you too. There's one tractor that I could say that's been the most reliable here on the farm. I'm probably going to say it's this 4020. Even though it's only been used as an auger tractor its whole life, or since I've had it at least, it's probably been used as one before, but hasn't given me any troubles, and I, I, I kind of love it. But we're going to go ahead and get, uh, get this auger all hooked up, get it up to this bin, and we're gonna get everything set up so that way when uh, Sean gets ready to get some trucking done, we can get all that kitten taken care of so he has less to do. All right, there we go. We got it all hooked up. Make sure this crank's still not seized up. I know uh, when I was testing it about four months ago, it was kind of giving me some troubles with the cable. But I think so far everything looks pretty good. Not too many hours on there. Maybe I should probably holler at Sean on the CB here in a little bit and make sure that he gets everything all filled up with fuel before we get going for today. Uh, so right now, so your truck's, your truck's still here, right? It's still parked over by the, by the shop, right? It's over by the combine. Okay. Uh, do me a favor before we start getting going this morning. So I went and tested some, uh, the moisture uh, on the fields right now. There's still a little bit of dew just to kill a little bit of time right now. Could you get that, uh, fuel trailer that's sitting over there? Could you get that all hooked up on your truck and then get it filled up with fuel from the barrel here? And then have it ready to just go sit by the field so that way we can just 
uh, load up with fuel as we're going. Okie dokie. I'm going to go ahead and go get the combine all ready to go. All right, so we ended up getting the most boring part of the field done. So we cut into this, getting all this cleaned out. Got Sean here in the in the grain cart coming up next to me. Uh, hey, Sean, you got me on the CB? I got you right here. Hey, uh, so I'm going to end up going all the way down on this pass. If you want to sit up here on the top of the hill and then wait for me to do my pass back, and then I'll pick you up on the way down. You don't want to unload? No, not right now. Okay, I'll stay right here. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, we uh, we got the most boring part of the field done out of the way. Headlands, they kind of take a while. So we're uh, making our first cut here in the field, getting it all opened up. Uh, right now, the corn is yielding at about 230 bushels per acre. I think, uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good year coming out of this field. I'm really, really excited to see what happens. See if we have a 50,000 bushel field come out here. Hey, uh, Sean, you got me on the CB? I got you right here. Hey, uh, you think you're going to be able to make it back to me halfway here? Yeah. Uh, I just didn't want to take out much corn when I went to go turn around here. All right, so me and Josh decided to take trade places here. He wanted to get a little action going on the combine because that's what he's been running and operating for. So I was like, hey, what the heck? I mean, can't be much worse than the last farmhand I had. So we're going to let him run the combine a little bit. He is missing a little bit of corn. Hey, I guess things happen. I did miss a little bit of corn when I was first starting too. But if he keeps missing a little bit more, I might have to get on him about that one. I think we're going to sit right here and he should be able to make it back to me. I'm thinking. I'm going to holler at him on the CB and... uh Ask him how many ask him how many sandwiches out of my lunchbox he's probably already eaten. Hey uh Sean, you got me on C B? Got you right here. Hey uh how many sandwiches have you, of mine have you eaten? As many as I can get away with. Oh yeah? You about full? Uh seventy five percent. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I'll just uh catch you when you swing around. You right there? No, I'm uh unloading the truck right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there give me about two minutes, three minutes. Hey uh Sean, how's things coming, man? I am unloading into the grain trailer. Hey, uh, you want to hear the story of the first time that I remember harvesting with my, uh, with my pa? Sure. So, I think I was about seven, eight years old, and, uh, he was bringing me up here into the combine. He had a, he had an old, uh, 9600, and this was back on the farm back in Nebraska before I decided to move down here. So, he, he took me out to the field, right? Before we hopped up in the combine... He told me to go stand out in the in the field in the opening because they they opened the field up the night before. He would always go through and uh, back back in those days the planter wasn't as, uh, as as efficient as it was nowadays, right? So at the beginning of every row there was always this like unproductive corn, meaning like it's not going to amount to anything. He'd always go up to it and he would just like knock it over. And this time, I remember I remember it was like like it happened yesterday because it hurt so much. And uh, he took uh, he took the tassel out of that corn, out of the, right out of the top of it, and I didn't, I had no idea what he was doing. And he ended up taking that tassel and he kicked it along the side of his boot, and it came flying at me and it hit me right square between the eyes, and I was just like, I started screaming and crying, and I didn't know what to think. Hey, that was real nice of me. Yeah, uh, I mean, looking back at it, I mean, hey, he was probably just having fun, and I took it like a, I took it like a champ, I think. Is that why you were crying? Yeah, that was why that was why I was crying.
I just got done running the truck and I seen uh seen he just left his truck on this whole entire time. I wonder if uh, I wonder if he's expecting to pay for the fuel prices on this. Figure I'd do him a little bit of a favor and shut that off for him. He'll he'll thank me later. All right, guys, we're about three quarters of the way down here with the field. Sean just uh, got done uh, taking the last bit of corn that I had here. Keep this from dragging out too long. Right now we have approximately 10,000 bushels that we have put away in the grain bin, so I think we're going to have a pretty, uh, pretty good season, pretty good year. If you haven't already, please like the video, comment down below, and do not forget to subscribe to Midwest Ag for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.